Hi, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto and welcome to my VVV beta graphics tutorial. So this is going to be the final series for my super physical tutorial. And in our previous one, we learned the basics of how to use super physical. And then the second one, we also learned how to uh, set up a studio lighting using super physical. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to share how to implement uh, super physical into whatever patch that you created. So let's get started. Um, so I made this really cool uh, scene uh, called, uh, this scene is called cool uh, with uh, different scaled spheres and teapot and the grid on the floor uh, using, uh, so the patch looks like this. Uh, and I want to add apply super physical to it. And is there any way that I could do that quite easily? Well, as I shared in my tutorial, super physical is very handy and it's super powerful, and but it's also really complicated. And you what you don't want to uh, drag and drop or like copy and like get all these super physical nodes inside this patch. And instead of that, what I would do is I'll just delete this one. I'll just save it and delete, quit. And then what I would do is, so this one is the patch that I've always been using. It's inside super physical nodes, modules, inside here. So I basically love the super physical, super physical help. So I want to implement this setup into my patch. And the way I would do that is, first of all, I'll copy all of these sample sub patch and everything that's included inside this folder. And then I'll create a folder in the so I'm, I'm saving all my patches inside this folder. So what I would do here is I'll create a folder called module and then I'll copy and paste all these uh, patches into my modules folder. And then I also need, I also want to refer the materials that's used inside the super, phys super physical. So what I would do is uh, also create a patch as folder called assets and then in here I would drag and drop this material folder so that I have everything inside my folder so now I don't have to go back to super physical sample patch instead of that I have everything here right so what I would do then I would reopen uh, my cool patch cool scene And then what I would do is I'll go back to my folder and drag and drop this super physical help patch into my patch that I just created. In default, what it's going to be doing, it's, it's going to open up all the sample patch we created. So it takes a bit of time. So this one is the sample patch. However, uh, if you see here, uh, this guy is referring the one inside my folder, the folder that I just created. So it's inside this 1921 super physical mod module file. This one is the file that I created, which means that whatever I edit here won't be affected, uh, won't affect anything on the master uh, help patch. Instead of that, it's gonna re uh, it's gonna edit the one that's inside my folder that I just created. And if you go into the light setup, for example, this one is also referring the one. No, this one is not. Oh shit. What's, what's with the light setup? Okay, so the direction light and spot setup and everything is not referring the right place, which I want. So to avoid this, what I would have to do, and I mean, there are several ways. Um, the easiest way is uh, just go into the light setup and drag and drop all the lights from here and then replace it for this front with this one for example I'll just do one for directional setup so drag and drop directional setup here and then connect this one and delete the old one and then right click here and now it's referring the one that it's it's inside my subfolder I mean by doing this uh, you can replace all the uh, folder how does it path so that whenever you tweak it, you don't have the master patches edited. I'm not gonna do this every to the all of it, but if you're interested in uh, putting everything, referring out everything from your subfolder, just, just replace all these lights and also the material. But I'm not gonna share that uh, for this tutorial. What I wanted to share 
Okay, so now super physical is here, but I can't input anything, right? And that is because I haven't set anything here. And what I would do here is for first of all, I want the geometry input as a super physical input. So I'll delete these geometries because I don't need it. And I'll, I'll left click here and middle click. And then middle click this one again and get a geometry input. I'll do the same thing for the transform. So right now transform is connected to two places. So I'll middle click here and uh, make sure that it's connected to both of them and delete this one. And I also want, I also need to do this for cameras because I have a really cool camera set up in my other patch. So what I would do is I'll get this projection and the view, view is connected to the render. So I'll just middle click this one. And then I also want need the camera state, so which is connected to the planar reflector and the volume metrics. So which one is it? So it's here. And then now I think the camera is oh, wait. so that now camera is not connected to anything. So I'll delete this one. So these are the camera inputs. And I would also want the texture size, but texture size is already uh, has this name on it, so I don't need to change anything. And also. Uh, replace this preview because I don't need a preview from the uh, super font. Instead of that, I'll recreate another one, an, an output called texture out, or I'll just rename this one to uh, super physical out. Okay, so I think I'm done setting this one up. And what I would do is I'll save this. It says if you, you also want to save the light setting, make sure uh, that you're not tweaking the wrong one, this one, yes, I'm tweaking the wrong one. Uh, so wait, what I would do is I'll go to the light setup and I'll replace the whole light setup from here. And I don't need this light setup. Oh wait, where was it connected? Uh, so this light setup was connected to some different places. Uh, light helper and light uh, there's quite a lot. I'll just reconnect this one before deleting it. So here, here, global light, here, and light. And also the light helper. Okay, so once you're done, I'm reconnecting everything. I don't need the, the previous light setup, so I'll delete this one. And this one uh, seems to be red, and that is because this two pointer things uh, gets messed up when you re-import the same node. What I would do here is I'll press Alt and right click. Alt and right click. Alt and right click resets the, all the settings for your uh, node. It's quite handy, so it might be good for you to remember. remember. With this, I, I lose all the red node. Now uh, my light setup is all fine. And then if you check out uh, this bar here, it says it's re referring the ones inside my module folder, which is great. Okay, so I'll save this one, hide it. And also save this one and I'll hide this super physical okay once this is done what I can do is here is so I now see geometry input and transform input and camera state and everything like that right so the first thing I'll do is I'll connect the super physical to the preview I lost all my cool scene oh where the fuck did it go uh, but just stay calm what you can do is connect all the cameras and the camera state and also connect the geometry. Oh, it's getting close. And the last thing I will need is the transform. And I'll just make, bring this one here so that it's easier for you to see. So what I see now, so the super physical is applied to the cool scene that I created using Fong, super, uh, Fong point. But instead of that, it has this rich lighting setup which is great so once this is done we can actually delete this one because we don't need it anymore so I'll delete these super font setup and I'll just replace this you don't have to delete that one in case you want to tweak a little bit more but I feel it's easier if you set up your scene in Fong and then after that in final process you uh, drag and drop super physical because sometimes you get when you drag and drop super physical you get stuck like the you get more interested in lighting rather than scene setup, but scene setup is more important than lighting. So spend your time doing the scene setup and at the end, try to drag and drop this. Once this is there, I have all the lights set up as it is. 
Uh, so then I can change, for example, the color reflection color here and see that super physical is applied. So if I change this one to red, I can see that it's reflecting this red background color. So if you create a patch uh, with directional setup, if you follow the second tutorial, I explained how to create sort of like studio lighting setup. Uh, if you tweak that this and make that kind of setup, what all you have to do is you have to create a folder and it put all your modules inside this module folder and make sure that you're referring the right place. And if you do so, you can, whatever scene you create, you can apply super physical by just drag and dropping this one as like texture effect, which I feel it's super handy, so I wanted to share. So yeah, that was kind of it for today. One last tip. So here you see that I'm using this transform buffer and why I'm using this is because uh, I think in our previous tutorial, we, we learned about materials. No, we didn't. Probably the first one we I shared about the material. So right now, uh, if you go to super physical and check out material, uh, this guy is only outputting three materials, uh, which means that if you only have three geometry, then it's fine. But if you have more than three geometries, then it starts uh, messing around and you don't want that. And what this does, this transfer buffer merges your spreaded geometry as one geometry output. So right now I only see three geometry out and three transform out, which then means if you have uh, different materials, it still gets mapped to the right uh, geometry. So if I change the second material to something, I don't know, I don't have material here, so I'm not gonna import anything. Oh, wait, I actually can, right? I have these assets materials, so I'll just connect one of them. So for example, here I have this albedo. I'm not gonna connect everything here. But for example, right now I have this albedo uh, rock texture connected to my albedo. What I can do is, for example, if, if I disconnect the second one, I think the second one should be the sphere. It gets disconnected. The texture would dis get disconnected with all the spheres. So if I connect this transform buffer to here, uh, start messing up with all the texture and scaling and everything but if you use transform buffer or the merge node you can export all the spreaded geometry as one geometry which then this material layout wouldn't be fucked up i feel it really handy so i just wanted to share this okay so yeah that was it for today uh, thanks for following this tutorial. I hope it helped. If anything you didn't understand with super physical, I might be able to help. So please comment uh, on below. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.